It's Louisa Shar here for FuturePreviews.com and I'm here with Michael and Aries and we are on set for the movie Chase and I'm just so excited to have you both here. Michael, I kind of want to start with you. Yep. How Chase came about, talk about casting and how you sure. decided to bring Aries in and all that good stuff. Chase is a script that I wrote last year so I wanted to do a smart film that also did have action in it. Characters really fleshed out everything and thought immediately about the cast. Aries and I met uh, earlier in the year and um, I mean we just we got along really well and I kind of threw, uh, threw the character at him, threw the script at him. He responded really well. So you read the script you know coming from a non-scripted funny stand-up mad mm -hmm. TV world. How did you know that you wanted to tackle this? How did you feel about the character and all of that? Uh, you know I'm, a, I'm gonna steal uh, an actual funny funny quote from Michael Caine. Uh, I, I remember I was watching him on Inside the Access Studio and he goes, people, got, people ask me, Mike, how you pick a film? And I go, I look on the script and if I see my name on the first page and the last page, then I do the bloody picture. <laughs> so <laughs> so I, 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 no, I, like, I was yeah. heavily in it, so I said, let yeah. me do it. Did you have to research to tap into Miles? And tell us about Miles, his character and how you had to get ready every day for the role. Was it a struggle? Because you're so funny and you say funny stuff. I was on set, you're cracking jokes. Um, you know, it, it's, I think, I think every, not to make it racial, but to make it racial, uh, you know, my house is in all of us. You know, every, every brother, every cool brother in the, in the ghetto and in the urban cities, you know, we like Miles, we like a Miles, we know a Miles. Uh, we fantasize about a Miles. So, you know, uh, it's just tapping into that a little bit. Mm -hmm. And Miles is a little bit uh, impulse, but at the same time, he's a thinker too. So I think it's almost the best of both those worlds. How much of yourself do you see in him? Uh, in my fantasy life, a whole lot. Uh, I, you sure I, it's fantasy? I, yeah, it is, because if it were real life, I'd be behind bars. <laughs> How did you feel directing Miles? How do you bring out those emotions? How do you know when you want more? Is it well, um, first of all, and I'm not just saying it because he's right here, but um, it's it's been awesome. Very little direction was needed for for Aries. I'm actually. that good. There, yeah, he and and Aries, of course, is a genius at uh, ad libbing, improv, all of that. I don't know about genius. But, he don't. Uh, know. He, it's it's a work in progress. He killed it. And I'll say this: um, I really feel like when this film is completed, done, color, music, all of that. You're going to see a whole other side of this guy. And it really will be a role that um, that people see something different. And, and dare I say, that cult role. Tell me about how you actually make an independent film. And the struggles of that. Yeah. Most people don't know to make an independent film. It's all about you hustling, trying to find the funding, trying to find the actors and all of that. Has it it's, been a struggle or it's kind of smooth? No, I mean, it's it's everything kind of came together. It's that ladder mm -hmm. because the people that invested in this, they had seen my previous work. They believed in the script. They they wanted to invest in me. So it's just like um, betting on a racehorse or bet, betting on something like that. Mm -hmm. You see what they've done before. You see their track record and then boom. And how was your connection with uh, Damien? You know, it sounds cliche, but it is the truth. Uh, you know, when you work with people who give you something, mm -hmm. uh, the more they give you, and the more you feel relaxed and comfortable. Uh, you know, it opens everything up. Uh, so he's a very given dude, very cool guy. Uh, and most dudes that look like him with his shirt off tend to act and think a certain way, but he's very humble. Damien, Aries playing off each other for some of the heavier mm -hmm. scenes. They just, it was there. I, I didn't need to direct anything. Yeah, you were amazing. Yeah. What did you learn about yourself the most? from this role, from the whole production? I, I would never say that I've reached perfection because mm -hmm. we're always trying to evolve mm -hmm. till the day you die. So you never stop learning, but I, I, I'm just, I'm apprehensive and I'm nervous because, you know, this is uncharted territory. Uh, I have done drama before, but never this deep. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, 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 I'm in waters where, you know, I gotta have some swimming skills. You're learning, you're evolving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he, he really, again, just to reiterate, okay. he's, been, he's been killing it with this. I'm telling you. Uh, if, if, if somebody didn't know his immense comedy background, 
they they would think that he he does nothing but drama. We'll see. I'm so excited to watch it. This has been so much fun. When can we expect the movie? Expect the film to to be seen, to be released. You know, even film festivals first, then wide mm -hmm. release sometime next year, 2019. Yeah, awesome. I'm just I'm pumped for it. Well, this I is really great. Am. Thank you too for the time to talk to me and talk about the movie. You guys have so much work to do. So before I let you go, because I know time is up, but yeah. can you please do a Shaq impression? I love oh. your Shaq impression. It's hilarious. Make sure you watch basketball this year on TNT. I'm back with uh, Kenny, Chuck, Ernie. It's going to be a bag of fun like it always is. <laughs> thank you so you much. It. You're you amazing. Oh, thank you.